Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Gretchen here, Cat and Paws. Happy Valentine's Day. Today I'm making a Valentine craft that can be done pretty much with any holiday. Uh, as long as you have like, some images you have in mind that you want to pick for the holiday. So I did pick up these Retro Valentines off of Amazon. And they are on a wooden... Um, you know, a wooden ornament with... Uh, like a screen print over them so if you do not have this uh, you could also just like copy a valentine you have and put like a paper backing on it and that will work too so here's my completed one so let's go ahead and and uh, make another one i have these spools again i picked these up at amazon and fyi i finally got my link tree name and now i just gotta link everything to it so eventually these will probably be linked in my amazon store but for now you just find a sewing spool and have fun i put a piece of ribbon around it i'm layering up my spool and then i have a piece of paper i'm going to stick around it as well it's just scrapbook paper and it's a little bit longer so what i'm I put tape on the ends. You can use your hot glue or any, you know, just glue period. And I know I want to start this a little past the seam. I'm trying to keep all my seams in the back in one spot. And I'm just going to wrap around and meet up with this other piece. And then there's my second layer. And don't have to do this. You could paint this bowl or um, not do anything. Just leave it plain or, you know, whatever your imagination, wherever it takes you. So then I have some of this tinsel. And I'm going to apply some hot glue. Let me make sure my tape is down really good. And I'm just going to start taking that tinsel around. I have my silicone finger on because I've already burnt my finger once. And I thought, oh, let me get that. Sometimes it works better on my thumb because I notice I use my thumb a lot more than I do my other finger. By the way, I picked these up at Dollar Tree. A lot, a lot of Dollar Tree goodness going on today. And I do think I want to end up gluing that down and wrapping it around. That way it doesn't puff up later. So I can just laying that down coming to the edge. I'm gonna put some glue down, overlap it just a smidge. And then I'm gonna cut that off. that now next I have my retro vintage Valentine I decided I wanted to mod podge it because I want a 360 view of the Valentine on the spool so I have a napkin I cut into a square now don't forget to remove the backing. And this one came right apart. If not though, you can take a piece of washi tape or a piece of tape and pull that off of there. And you wanna get it down to that final layer of your napkin. Using my Mod Podge, I just brushed it on, put the napkin on, brushed over it, and then kind of picked the pieces off. So on this one, 
Now I wanted it a little bit more uh, vintage looking. So I did take my Distress Ink and went roughly over the back of it. Just no rhyme or reason. Touch up the edges if you need to. And then it, it just looks a little more darker and a little more vintage. So we have our spool. I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up these tumbling tower game blocks. There are 72 blocks in this box for $1.25. Because you know the Dollar Tree is not a dollar anymore. And when I first opened the box, the first block was this one with some writing on it. And I said, oh no, don't tell me they all have writing, but no. The blocks are then blank. So you get all these wonderful blocks that you could do so many things with. But I want to make basically my Valentine a dummy board. And I want it to be able to set up by itself. So, but if you do not have the tumbling tower blocks, you could also put a paper clip down in there to kind of prop it up to glue it or even just try to glue in and put your board on the um, spool. So again, I did Mod Podge this block and I did put some Distress Ink on it. I tried to wrap it like a little present and that way then the edges would be, you know, covered. So now I'm gonna take my glue and just glue that block on. I'm just using, because I'm holding it up in the air, I'm just putting it down to make sure. It's on there pretty good there. And then you can just sit up as a dummy board. But now I'm gonna glue it to my spool. But first off, let me show you something. This set of Valentines is actually supposed to be used as ornaments. So I have a hole at the top of my Valentine. So I grabbed my beads and I'm just gonna match the color. I'm gonna get the small beads. And just match a color up. I think that blue will look nice. That one's a little bit smaller. I'd like to get a smaller, smaller color. That will work. I like the blue though. I have a dark blue. Let's see if I have a lighter. <clears throat> And if not, I'll go with, I'll go with that dark. There's a purple. I think I do. All right, <clears throat> so there's our choices. But I kind of like that purple. That looks really nice, especially for Valentine's. Although that one probably matches it more. Nope, purple it is. I like it. So now, when you do, if you're going to do the bead thing, of course, I'll take any suggestions you might have that could help fill that little hole in right there. Um, just make sure you put the hole so you don't look directly down in it. So you want to put the glue on the outside of the like 
this. You want to put the holes on the outside so you can't see them. So like they're over there, not on top. So let that set up a sec. Try and do it so I don't see so much glue. Oh my, this glue dries fast. It's on there. And now I'm going to add some glue to the bottom of my block. That's how quick that glue adhered. I was just trying to make sure I had it on the right spot. Uh, let me find my seam, put it in the back, and put my valentine right on top. Make sure it's centered. You got like two seconds to work with it. Let me get that out of the way. There we go. Quick and easy and simple. So, in Dollar Tree Blocks, uh, Retro Vintage, um, Valentine, a couple beads if you have that hole, some accessories, and you got yourself a 360 cutesy Valentine. Now, let me show you what these look like standing up. So here's my one of my little Valentine displays this year. And I do have a spot right there. Well, maybe not. They're just a little bit too tall. But they would look cute. All by themselves or in a grouping. Have a happy Valentine's Day.